Do you ever feel like your mind is always filled with too many thoughts? Overthinking can be exhausting and can stop us from enjoying life. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and philosopher, had the same problem. He came up with simple and powerful ways to handle overthinking. In this video, we'll look at his methods and how you can use them to find peace and clarity in your life. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Here's a challenge for you. Try one of these methods and let us know in the comments how it worked for you. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts. 1. Embracing the Present Moment Marcus Aurelius believed deeply in the power of living in the present. He wrote, Confine Yourself to the Present, Meditations, Book 836. This quote captures his view that the present moment is the only time we truly have control over. Worrying about the past or the future can lead to unnecessary stress and overthinking. When we focus on the present, we free ourselves from the regrets of the past and the anxieties about the future. The present is where life happens. It's where we can make decisions, take actions, and enjoy experiences. Imagine you are a student preparing for a big exam. You might be overwhelmed by thoughts about how you performed in past exams or worried about how this exam will affect your future. Instead of getting caught up in these worries, focus on your current study session. Break down your study material into manageable parts and concentrate on one topic at a time. By focusing on the present task, you can study more effectively and reduce your stress. To embrace the present, engage in mindfulness exercises like deep breathing or meditation. These practices help anchor your thoughts in the present. Additionally, remind yourself regularly that the present moment is all you have. Write down the quote, confine yourself to the present, and place it somewhere visible as a constant reminder to focus on now. 2. Focusing on what you can control Marcus Aurelius frequently reflected on the importance of distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot. He stated, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Meditations Book 4-3 By focusing on what we can control, we reduce the mental burden of worrying about things beyond our influence. In life, many situations are out of our hands, whether it's the weather, other people's actions, or past events. Stressing over these factors only drains our energy. Instead, concentrate on your reactions and choices, which are within your control. Consider a situation where you are waiting for a job interview response. Worrying about the outcome can be stressful. Instead of obsessing over the decision, focus on what you can control. Preparing for future opportunities, improving your skills, or exploring other job openings. This proactive approach not only helps you stay productive, but also reduces anxiety about things beyond your control. To practice focusing on what you can control, make a list of concerns and categorize them into within my control and beyond my control. Focus your efforts on the first list and try to let go of the second. This exercise can help you channel your energy more effectively and reduce overthinking. 3. Practicing Rational Detachment Marcus Aurelius often emphasized the importance of maintaining a rational perspective on life's events. He wrote, If you are pained by external things, it is not they that disturb you, but your own judgment of them. And it is in your power to wipe out that judgment now. Meditations, Book 847. This means that our reactions to events are within our control, and by changing our perspective, we can manage our emotional responses. Rational detachment involves stepping back from our emotions and evaluating situations logically. This doesn't mean suppressing feelings, but rather understanding them and responding in a balanced way. By doing so, we prevent our emotions from overwhelming our thoughts and leading to overthinking. Imagine you receive critical feedback at work. It's easy to feel hurt or defensive, leading to overthinking about your performance. Instead, practice rational detachment by viewing the feedback objectively. Ask yourself, is the feedback constructive? Can it help me improve? By focusing on the rational aspects of the situation, 
You can use the feedback for personal growth rather than letting it cause undue stress. To practice rational detachment, pause and take a deep breath when you encounter a stressful situation. Analyze the event from a logical standpoint and separate your initial emotional reaction from the facts. This approach helps you maintain a clear mind and prevents overthinking. By embracing the present moment, focusing on what you can control, and practicing rational detachment, you can follow Marcus Aurelius's strategies to manage overthinking effectively. These methods not only reduce mental clutter, but also enhance your overall well-being. 4. Limiting Mental Clutter Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of simplicity and avoiding unnecessary thoughts. He wrote, If you seek tranquility, do less. Or do what's essential, what the logos of a social being requires and in the requisite way. Which brings a double satisfaction to do less, better. Meditations, Book 424 This quote encourages us to focus on what is truly important and avoid cluttering our minds with too many tasks or thoughts. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to become overwhelmed by the sheer number of things we need to think about and do. This mental clutter can lead to overthinking and stress. To limit mental clutter, we need to simplify our lives and focus on what really matters. Consider a busy professional juggling multiple projects at work. They might find themselves thinking about all their tasks simultaneously, leading to confusion and stress. Instead, they can prioritize their tasks and focus on one project at a time. By breaking their work into smaller, manageable parts and addressing them one by one, they can reduce mental clutter and enhance their productivity. Another practical way to limit mental clutter is to create a daily to-do list. Write down all the tasks you need to accomplish and rank them by importance. Focus on completing the most critical tasks first, and then move on to less important ones. This practice helps you stay organized and prevents your mind from being overwhelmed by a chaotic mix of thoughts. Additionally, take time to declutter your physical environment. A tidy workspace can lead to a clearer mind. Set aside a few minutes each day to organize your desk, remove unnecessary items, and create a clean and focused space. This simple act can have a profound impact on reducing mental clutter and promoting a calm, productive mindset. 5. Reframing Negative Thoughts Marcus Aurelius advised that we should reframe our thoughts to see challenges in a positive light. He said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Meditations, Book 520 this quote highlights the idea that obstacles can be transformed into opportunities for growth and improvement. Negative thoughts can be a major source of overthinking. When we encounter difficulties, it's easy to dwell on the negative aspects and feel overwhelmed. However, by reframing our thoughts, we can change our perspective and see these challenges as opportunities. Imagine an athlete who suffers an injury before an important competition. Instead of focusing on the setback and feeling defeated, they can reframe their thoughts to see the injury as a chance to rest, recover, and come back stronger. They can use the downtime to work on other aspects of their training, such as mental preparation or studying their sport in more depth. To reframe negative thoughts, start by identifying the negative thought and then challenge it. Ask yourself if there is another way to view the situation. For example, if you think, I'll never be good at this, reframe it to, I can improve with practice and effort. This shift in perspective can help reduce overthinking and build resilience. Another example is a student who fails a test. Instead of thinking, I'm a failure, they can reframe it to, this is an opportunity to learn and understand the material better. By focusing on the potential for growth and improvement, they can turn a negative experience into a positive one. 6. Seeking Perspective Through Nature Marcus Aurelius often found solace and perspective in nature. He wrote, Dwell on the beauty of life, watch the stars, and see yourself running with them. Meditations, Book 747 This quote encourages us to appreciate the natural world and find our place within it. 
which can help us gain a broader perspective on our problems. Spending time in nature can be a powerful way to reduce overthinking. The beauty and tranquility of natural surroundings can provide a sense of calm and help us detach from our worries. Nature has a way of reminding us of the bigger picture and our small place within the vast universe. Consider someone who is feeling overwhelmed by work stress. Taking a walk in a park, hiking in the mountains, or simply sitting by a lake can provide a much-needed break. The sights, sounds, and smells of nature can help clear the mind and offer a fresh perspective. This break can make it easier to return to work with a renewed focus and a calmer mindset. Another example is a person dealing with a personal problem. Watching a sunset, gazing at the stars, or listening to the waves at the beach can help them realize that their troubles are just a small part of the larger world. This realization can reduce the intensity of their overthinking and provide comfort. To seek perspective through nature, make it a habit to spend regular time outdoors. Whether it's a daily walk in the park, a weekend hike, or a vacation in a natural setting, these experiences can help you stay grounded and keep overthinking at bay. Use these moments to reflect on the beauty around you and remind yourself that there is more to life than your immediate concerns. By limiting mental clutter, reframing negative thoughts, and seeking perspective through nature, you can follow Marcus Aurelius's strategies to manage overthinking effectively. These methods not only reduce mental burden, but also enhance your overall well-being. 7. Adopting a Minimalist Mindset Marcus Aurelius often emphasized simplicity and the importance of focusing on what truly matters. He wrote, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Meditations, Book 767. This quote underscores the idea that happiness and peace come from within, not from external possessions or complexities. Adopting a minimalist mindset can help reduce overthinking by stripping away unnecessary distractions and focusing on the essentials. In a world filled with constant noise and endless choices, minimalism offers a way to simplify life and reduce mental clutter. Imagine someone who feels overwhelmed by their busy schedule and the multitude of possessions they own. By adopting a minimalist mindset, they can start by decluttering their physical space. Removing unnecessary items from their home creates a more organized and peaceful environment. This physical decluttering often leads to mental decluttering, as a tidy space can promote a clearer mind. In addition to physical decluttering, minimalism involves simplifying commitments and focusing on what is most important. For example, a person might have a packed schedule filled with various social, work, and personal obligations. By prioritizing activities that truly matter and letting go of less important ones, they can reduce stress and free up mental space. Another example is someone who is constantly distracted by digital notifications and social media. Adopting a minimalist mindset might involve setting boundaries for screen time, unsubscribing from unnecessary emails, and turning off non-essential notifications. This digital decluttering can help them focus on meaningful activities and reduce the mental burden of constant distractions. By simplifying both their physical environment and their commitments, individuals can create more room for meaningful experiences and reduce the tendency to overthink. Minimalism is not just about having fewer things, it's about making more space for what truly matters in life. 8. Practicing Daily Reflection Marcus Aurelius was a strong advocate of self-reflection and introspection. He wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Meditations, Book 2, 1. This practice of daily reflection helps us appreciate life and align our actions with our values. Daily reflection is a powerful tool to combat overthinking. By setting aside time each day to reflect on your thoughts, actions, and feelings, you can gain clarity and perspective. This practice allows you to process your experiences, learn from them, and make intentional decisions. Consider someone who feels overwhelmed by their daily responsibilities 
and constantly worries about their performance at work. By setting aside a few minutes each morning or evening for reflection, they can review their day, acknowledge their achievements, and identify areas for improvement. This practice helps them stay focused on their goals and reduces unnecessary overthinking about past or future events. A practical way to practice daily reflection is through journaling. Writing down your thoughts and experiences can help you process your emotions and gain insights into your behavior. For example, if you find yourself overthinking a conversation with a colleague, writing about it in a journal can help you understand your feelings and identify any underlying concerns. Another example is someone who struggles with anxiety about the future. By reflecting on their daily experiences and noting moments of gratitude, they can shift their focus from worrying about what might happen to appreciating what they have. This shift in perspective can reduce overthinking and promote a more positive outlook. Daily reflection also involves setting intentions for the day. By starting your day with a clear focus on what you want to achieve and how you want to approach challenges, you can navigate your day with greater purpose and reduce the tendency to overthink. This practice helps you stay grounded and aligned with your values. 9. Embracing Mortality and Impermanence Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the nature of life and death. He wrote, You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. Meditations, Book 211. This quote highlights the importance of recognizing the impermanence of life and using that awareness to live more fully and intentionally. Embracing the concept of mortality can be a powerful way to reduce overthinking. When we acknowledge that life is finite, we are reminded to focus on what truly matters and let go of trivial worries. This perspective encourages us to make the most of each moment and prioritize meaningful experiences. Consider someone who is preoccupied with minor annoyances and daily frustrations. By reflecting on the impermanence of life, they can shift their focus to what is truly important. Instead of getting upset over small inconveniences, they can appreciate the present moment and the people they care about. This mindset helps them reduce overthinking about insignificant issues and fosters a sense of gratitude. Another example is someone who is afraid to take risks or pursue their dreams because of fear of failure. Embracing the idea of mortality can remind them that life is short and that it's better to take action and follow their passions than to live with regret. This realization can motivate them to overcome their fears and make bold choices reducing the mental burden of overthinking. To embrace mortality and impermanence, practice mindfulness and remind yourself regularly of the transient nature of life. Meditation and contemplation on life's impermanence can help you stay focused on what matters. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment and spend time with loved ones. These practices can help you live more intentionally and reduce unnecessary overthinking. By adopting a minimalist mindset, practicing daily reflection, and embracing mortality and impermanence, you can follow Marcus Aurelius's strategies to manage overthinking effectively. These methods not only reduce mental clutter, but also enhance your overall well-being. They encourage you to focus on what truly matters, live intentionally, and appreciate the present moment. 10. Journaling for Clarity Marcus Aurelius frequently turned to writing as a way to process his thoughts and gain clarity. His famous work, Meditations, is essentially a personal journal filled with reflections, insights, and reminders. He wrote, When you have trouble getting out of bed in the morning, remember that your defining characteristic, what defines a human being, is to work with others. Meditations, Book 8, 12. This practice of writing down thoughts helped him stay focused and clear-minded. Journaling is a powerful tool for managing overthinking. By putting thoughts on paper, we can organize our minds, process emotions, and gain perspective on our problems. Writing helps to externalize our thoughts, making them more manageable and less overwhelming. Consider a professional who is stressed about an upcoming presentation. They might be worried about all the things that could go wrong. By journaling, they can write down their fears, 
break them into smaller, more manageable parts, and create a plan to address each concern. This process not only helps reduce anxiety, but also provides a clear action plan. Another real-life example is a student who feels overwhelmed by multiple assignments and exams. By keeping a journal, they can list all their tasks, set priorities, and create a study schedule. This practice helps to reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed and allows the student to focus on one task at a time, making their workload more manageable. Journaling can also be used to reflect on daily experiences and learn from them. For instance, if you had a difficult conversation with a friend, writing about it can help you understand your emotions and the dynamics of the interaction. This reflection can provide insights into how to handle similar situations in the future, reducing the tendency to overthink past interactions. To start journaling, set aside a few minutes each day to write. You can begin by jotting down whatever comes to mind without worrying about grammar or structure. Over time, you might find it helpful to focus on specific areas, such as things you are grateful for, challenges you faced, and how you overcame them, or goals you want to achieve. Using Marcus Aurelius's approach, you can also write reminders to yourself. For example, if you often worry about things you cannot control, write a note saying, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Meditations, Book 4 and 3. Having these reminders written down can help reinforce positive thinking and reduce overthinking. In conclusion, journaling for clarity helps to organize thoughts, process emotions, and gain perspective. It is a simple yet effective tool to manage overthinking. By adopting this practice, you can externalize your thoughts, make them more manageable, and focus on what truly matters. Following Marcus Aurelius's example, journaling can be a powerful way to achieve a clearer and more focused mind. In conclusion, Marcus Aurelius's strategies for dealing with overthinking are just as relevant today as they were in ancient times. By embracing the present moment, focusing on what you can control, practicing rational detachment, limiting mental clutter, reframing negative thoughts, seeking perspective through nature, adopting a minimalist mindset, practicing daily reflection, embracing mortality and impermanence, and journaling for clarity, you can find peace and clarity in your life. Remember, overthinking is a common problem, but with the right tools and mindset, you can manage it effectively. Try incorporating these methods into your daily routine and see how they make a difference. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to take on our challenge. Try one of Marcus Aurelius' methods and let us know in the comments how it worked for you. We'd love to hear your experiences and thoughts. Thanks for watching.